My name is Carolyn Deer. I'm a businesswoman. I have my main business is in Melbourne, Australia, and I live in New York. And I'm here to take the project management week. Great. Uh, what do you see the major challenges for humanity to be in the next decade? I think the major challenges are for us to really understand one another, um, understand our differences and where we find ourselves in this lifetime, and really looking beyond our assumptions and really taking, it will be a challenge as things get faster and bigger and more urgent to really slow down and take the time out to recalculate our assumptions and really look at the differences. What skills and capacities need to be developed to meet these challenges? I think one of the biggest uh, capacities we need to develop to address these challenges is to look at how we perceive things individually, as a family, as a group, as a business, as a country, I think we need to really, you know, things are not always the way we perceive them. And if we can start to look at things through different perceptions and start developing our ability to do that, I think we might have a glimpse of a chance to meet the big challenges that face us. What do you see the role of youth to be? I think the role of youth is to understand the world today and recognise that yes we are all growing and developing but to really collectively come together and realise that you know, change is imminent and we can play a massive role in that change, connecting with the rest of the world and the other age groups and learning between. Right. What gives you hope for the future? What gives me hope for the future is when I hear of or see amazing changes already happening. Um, I also have hope when I see places where change is not happening because that to me is an it's an opportunity for a place where change can take place and visiting a place like this where it's all about how can we change, what's going on, you know all those different elements give me hope. And now for the serious question, imagine you were dropped on a deserted island with only one thing that you can bring. What would you bring? I really bring with me my gratitude and trust that I'm there for a purpose. I probably wouldn't know what the purpose was the moment I landed, but I would just trust that everything I need is provided there.